Hi friends, Soul Food is back and we have some new episodes. Today, we're going to talk about endings. Four years ago this month, I finished up working at a place where I had been employed for 32 years. We sold a home that we loved and we moved into state. It was a major ending in my life, a huge step into the unknown. I've become a, a little emotional just thinking about it. In many ways, life is a journey with many different seasons, and these seasons are marked by endings, in-between times, and beginnings, all interconnected. These beginnings and endings happen in our relationships, in our educational journey, in our living arrangements, and in our vocation. Most endings are hard. They involve letting go, finding some closure, and often saying goodbye. There are tears and there's loss, and this grief. But endings are necessary. In fact, endings bring with them the possibility of new beginnings. Henry Cloud, in his helpful book, Necessary Endings, says this, endings are a natural part of life. We either face them, stagnate, or die. Without the ability to do endings well, we flounder, stay stuck, and fail to reach our goals and dreams. I wonder what endings have occurred for you recently? What have you had to let go of? What are your losses? And what feelings are you experiencing about those endings? How are you different now? And what are you learning in the process? You may have heard of the principle of displacement. If you have a plate that is full, then there's no room for adding anything new to it. But if you remove some things from your plate, you create the space and the room for some new things. And that's what endings do for us. I wonder what necessary endings are coming up for you. Can you sense some nearing? Have a look at this diagram. It's called a sigmoid curve, and it illustrates those transition times in our life. After a season of learning and growth, that's the purple line, point A is where we begin to ask ourselves some questions about our current reality. Maybe experience some doubts about whether we are where we really want to be. We're feeling unsettled and restless and our motivation is often low. Is it a time for an ending and a new curve to start? That's the blue line. Point B is where we may have waited longer than is necessary and we hit the wall and have a crisis that forces an ending and propels us into rapid change. You know, we'll have many of these curves or cycles in each aspect of our life throughout our lifetime. The key is to discern the endings and to navigate them with as much courage and wisdom as we can. Let's recap our main points. Firstly, life is a journey with many seasons, all involving endings and beginnings. Secondly, feelings of grief, sadness and loss are normal when we encounter endings. Thirdly, endings make new beginnings possible. Fourthly, learn to discern the seasons of change in your life. Finally, don't go it alone. Find a safe friend or an advisor to talk about the possible endings in your life and the inevitable emotions that you will experience with them. That's all for today. See you next week.